What's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill. In the last episode, Harry blacked out talking to Lisa in the other world. Get my bearings real quick and see where I need to go. I believe it is Green Lion Antique Shop up there. I can barely make the words out. We blacked out talking to Lisa in the other world. Alternate Alchemy Hospital. And now we're back in the fog world. And Dahlia showed up at the end of the last episode to talk some more nonsense to us again. And honestly, we didn't get a whole lot of things answered there. In fact, we got pretty much nothing answered. And even more questions in that time were raised. Dahlia mentioned the Mark of Samael was springing up around town, and it's apparently our mission to stop it from being completed. Oh, oh god damn it. These are new enemies. These are uh, these guys are called Rompers. And they laugh at you while trampling you. And they pin you to the ground and just do terrible things to you. How much damage did he actually do? I wasn't paying attention to the streets. I didn't realize they started showing up this early. So now we have rompers roaming the streets in the fog world. We still have air screamers. And what are the dogs called? Aside from just skinless dogs. Um, anyway. Where was I? Hopefully I don't run into them again. They didn't do as much damage as I thought they would have, but still. I think the antique shop was somewhere around here. So yeah, it's apparently, according to Dahlia, Harry's job to stop the Mark of Samael from being completed. How do we do that? What is the Mark of Samael? We don't really know yet. That just kind of got dropped on us. I'm sure we'll find out, though. And I saw an antique shop back there, but I couldn't go into it, so now I'm a little bit confused. I'm gonna go further down the street, though, because I don't think I'm far enough up the street to find it. There it is, Green Lion Antique Shop. Yeah, our only clue was Dahlia telling us to head to the other church, and we have a key to the antique shop. So, that is why we came here. Oh, I don't like that it keeps turning my flashlight off. Is the clock important? There's nothing special. It's totally unimportant. Let's see, it's three o'clock. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that doesn't really matter. The save pad, but don't really need to save right now. Can we find anything on the shelves or on the cabinets? No. What's the point of coming in here? Can't go back there. Where am I going? Is there something... I don't suppose I can move these chairs now. Now there's no point to... Oh, wait a minute. I see marks. There's a trace on the floor. Yeah, I want to push it. I didn't notice that the first time I came back here. I was going to be very confused. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Ah... <sighs> I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? 
she said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream? What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Alright, that was a pretty important cutscene. So, where do we even begin with that one? Well, first of all, why do people come here on vacation? What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Back to back important cutscenes, actually. So, yeah, this looks like what Dahlia was referring to by the other church. Can I do anything here? Can I mess with the altar? No, it's just an altar. No, not a special altar. Um, can't light the candles. Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. Can I take it? No, it doesn't give me a prompt. That's weird. Do I have anything in my inventory? These are always, like, the most important questions in any kind of adventure game or hybrid survival horror. Uh, Flaros. Doesn't look like I can use it. Nah, it doesn't even give me the use prompt. What about my unknown liquid? I'm pretty confident that I know what this is, so I probably can't, but yeah. In fact, I cannot. So I can't do anything here. Is there anything else in the room? Oh, there's a big axe. There's a big axe on the wall. Is this a new melee weapon, or is this... Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, moderately effective as a weapon, small one-handed, which means it's probably faster. Let's quit that real quick and see how that feels. It's nice and quick. I can move around while swinging it. Ooh. But it probably does lower damage, and it looks like it has way lower range. I'll try it out next time I see an enemy, though. Can't chop the table up. So, why did it give me the axe here? What's the point of this room? Let's check everything else out real quick, and then I'll start talking about the two cutscenes we just got. And all the things that they revealed, all the revelations. Can't do anything with the fuse box. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. What the? Harry? 
Are you okay? Harry? Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff, black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? Whoa, cutscene heavy episode. Oh, I don't like this camera. This, all of, the, all of this looks bad. And there's another mark on the ground. The mark of Samael. So, with all this stuff that just got dropped on us, I guess I'll take this and try to summarize the last past ten minutes or so. In order. So now... So, Sybil has confirmed to us that she also sees how fucked up things are. And every way out of the town is destroyed, but she knows nothing of the alternate world slash nightmare world. So, is Harry going crazy? He seems to think he's losing it. And Sybil also caught a glimpse of a girl, but she does not confirm that girl to be Cheryl. Could be this mystery figure that we keep seeing pop up. And then she mentions that she saw the girl heading down Bachman Road and it looked like she was walking on thin air. And then Sybil dropped this bomb on us about a big mysterious drug trafficking ring. And we found all those drugs in the hospital that didn't appear to be medication. So my question is, why do people come here on vacation? Like, why are there tourists? What are the tourist attractions here? If you haven't 
guessed this by now, Silent Hill is not a happy, tourist-friendly place. Depending on, on which version of the, which account you're going by, by which game, Silent Hill was built over an Indian burial ground, it was the site of a plague, tons of people drowned in Toluca Lake, uh, there's tons of, of prisons and mental asylums, apparently, um, like I mentioned previously. According to, I believe, Homecoming in the film, it's built over a still-burning coal mine or something, uh, which is actually based around a real place which is in Pennsylvania. Despite this, Silent Hill's award-winning tourism department successfully pulled the greatest damage control campaign in human history and turned this into, like, a rustic resort town. Jesus Christ. Also, Harry is fucking stupid. Back when he's going into the, you know, quote-unquote, other church. Oh no, Sybil, I know you're a cop, but I'm going. You stay here. Idiot. Let me crawl into this big spooky nightmare hole. Oh shit. Um, now we're getting to the point where we have the alternate versions of enemies springing up, like the Wormhead Dog here. I believe we'll also get, um, what are they called? Night Flutters, which are the upgraded versions of the Air Screamers. And we still have rompers roaming around, I believe. Fuck. The axe is nice and quick, but I think I still prefer the hammer. Okay, so there's still way more to talk about, to recap. This has been uh, quite eventful here. So, Harry then... exits the antique shop hole, and he blacks out again, and then he wakes up in the hospital talking to Lisa. And back in the nightmare world, after he was in the fog world for a bit. And Lisa tells him that he was having a terrible dream, a nightmare. And then we learn that not only did Dahlia have a kid, her kid died in a fire. And we get some more vague references to the cult, which in later games was tr mistranslated as the Order when it's really just a nameless cult. So anyway, remember during the split head boss fight, we saw a burning pyre with an effigy in the middle of the arena? told you that was significant. It's representative of Dolly's kid, who again, died in a fire. And then Harry once again wakes up in a new place, and he's not sure how we got there, so now we're not sure if Harry's just losing his mind or what. He suggests that maybe it was just because of the car accident. Maybe he had a car accident driving through Silent Hill, and these are all some sort of hallucinations. Maybe he has retrograde amnesia or something. We are going to get answers much later. But now, looks like we're in a mall. To be honest, I'm not super sure about where we are. I've just kind of been wandering around and trying to find my way while avoiding the very, very many enemies that have been cornering me. I thought the TVs were something, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, looks like a map. I could really use one of those right now. Because I'm kind of flying blind. I still only have a map of this big, broad cross-section of, um, of Central Silent Hill. I could use a more localized map, but no, it's nothing. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna head upstairs then. going to stare at these for a little bit because I happen to know something about these monitors. Is that for split seconds, for split frames actually, images of that other mysterious little girl flash up on the screen. I believe I said in one of the last few episodes that mystery girl, probably Alessa, or probably connected to Alessa, so let's just keep calling her that. And I'm realizing that we're probably getting close to being out of time for this episode, so... We will continue heading towards the lake to find Cheryl in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.